I am so stoked for this video, guys. We're looking at why American and European trucks are so different. Now, I am in my infancy stages in learning about trucks abroad, whether it's Europe, Australia, wherever, right? Uh, it's really fascinating and it's fun. And they are a lot different, but why are they different? Well, I could think of a few reasons, but I would like to see what this video has to offer. This is from a channel called Trucktopia. I've seen this a couple times before. I am subscribed to them. They are amazing. I can highly encourage you to check them out. They'll be linked in the description down below. And this video has been suggested to me by probably dozens of you at this point. Let's check it out. And uh, I would love to hear your comments on this. Here we go. European and American trucks are so different. American and European semi-trucks are very different. Mm -hmm. In America, you see all the trucks with a long nose and wheelbase yeah. with the cabin behind the engine. Whereas trucks in Europe are cab over trucks where the cabin is above the engine. Now, just aesthetically, no actual logistical reason, no road reasons, none of that. What do you like aesthetically? I, this is really hard. I'm actually kind of torn. I've grown up seeing these kind of trucks, these American style trucks, long noses with the big caps uh, my whole life, right? And I really think some of them look really cool. Although I tend to think the older ones look better and the newer ones are starting to look more generic and kind of more uh, bland. If we're talking about overall between old and new, I really hate to admit this, but I'm, I got to give it to the cab over. They actually look really neat. And uh, even the new ones look really sleek and really cool and really kind of macho, like powerful. And uh, a lot of the newer American trucks, I'm talking about brand new, they look a little more on the lackluster side. But what do you guys think? But why are they so different and what are the advantages and disadvantages? Let's take a look at it. Livable. One of the American. reasons why the American <laughs> trucks have bigger cabs is that owner-operators are very common in the U.S. and not so much in Europe. Yeah. These people own their trucks and pretty much live in them for months at a time. Yes. Because they spend so much time and some have to live in the cabin, these cabins are quite a bit larger and yeah. have more features in the cabin. Wow. <laughs> such as a fridge, microwave, freezer, wardrobe, large bed, windows, and some even have their own toilet. Impressive. Owners modify their trucks to include huge living compartments, something not so common in Europe. Okay. It is, of course, also possible to spend several days in a truck with a cab over, but the comfort is just not nearly as high. Okay. Do you agree Long, with that? wide roads. Much of an American yeah. truck's life is spent on the interstate system, where the lanes are wide and the roads are straight. That's right. For that reason, the long wheelbase of the truck is acceptable and typically makes the ride much more comfortable. Okay. Considering they are allowed to drive up to 12 hours every 24 hours, right. whereas European truckers can only drive 9 hours, that extra comfort is important. Now, I feel like, is, is that accurate? I know 12 hours, I feel like is, uh, I'm not a trucker, but I feel like that's very accurate here. That's what I've always heard is 12 hours. And then you have to have some sort of a break and then you can drive again. So I think technically you might be even able to drive more than 12 hours in a day if you timed it right. Uh, now in Europe, I obviously would not know that. I feel like that would maybe vary by country within Europe. I'm not sure. Uh, you guys can teach me that if you would like. Um, but nine hours certainly seems less. But again, maybe there's ways to get more out of it, uh, technically. European semi-trucks are lighter and have shorter wheelbases, which makes them significantly easier to maneuver. Right. Definitely more agile. they are more compact and easier to work with in traffic and urban environments, Makes which sense. is perfect for the narrow roads in Europe. Right. Also, the cab over has a better overview and less blind spots, which increase safety noticeably. Where the yeah, I wonder what would be easier to drive. If we're not even talking about totally like narrow roads, just driving perspective. I wonder what would be easier to drive. One of the European style cab overs or a big long nose uh, American truck. I would actually think maybe the cab over would be easier to drive for someone that's like intimidated by trucks. <laughs> also, can I give a quick shout out? Look at this. That, wow, that DAF truck right there, that looks amazing. <laughs> the cab over has a better overview Damn. and less blind spots, which increase safety noticeably. Mm -hmm. Where the larger bonnets and A pillars on the American trucks That's make good it difficult too. for drivers to get a clear view of traffic. Right. Makes sense. Strict regulations. 
stricter regulations in Europe make for different trucks. For starters, a European semi-truck can only be 18.75 meters or about 61 feet. Okay. Some countries have some exceptions, but generally that is the rule. All right. Because of these restrictions, European trucks have to be as short as possible so they can tow more cargo. Oh, okay. Considering American cabs can be 20 feet long, that only leaves a U.S. truck with EU rules. <laughs> so, yeah, if you see, our trucks are way huge. Uh, you would not be towing barely at all. You'd have a 40-foot trailer. That's pretty bad. <laughs> it's 40 feet of room for cargo. So, in order to make more room for cargo, the cab has to be as short as possible. Gotcha. Similar requirements in the U.S. have been revoked back in 1986, and trucks now can be much longer. Yeah. Actually, back in the day, cab-over trucks were quite popular in the U.S. That's right. But Without strict limitations, roomier and more convenient to live with, conventional design trucks prevailed. Yeah. Speed and aerodynamics. A big difference between the European semi-trucks and American ones is that in Europe, the speed is limited to 90 kilometers per hour. Ooh, but okay. in some places in the US, trucks are allowed to reach 129 and even 137 kilometers per hour. That's right, and I've heard uh, in certain states, even out west, like uh, cattle trucks and stuff, the cops kind of look the other way. I've I've seen videos <laughs> uh, at least once before of cattle trucks doing like 100 miles per hour and uh, no one cared. Oof, crazy. It is on the long straight roads. At high speed, the better aerodynamics and longer wheelbase is a clear advantage for the long-nosed trucks. That makes which sense. Which are created for the long trips. Yeah. Conclusion. So, the reason why there is such a big difference between trucks in Europe compared to America is that they are used in different ways. That's right. That's what it all comes there down to. There are different to. rules that must be observed, both yeah. in terms of speed, driving time, lengths, weight, etc. Yeah. And nice. that there is a big difference between roads and the infrastructure. True. So, one is not necessarily better than the other, but Agreed. they are adapted to the needs of truck owners, the driver, and the government requirements. Yeah. Which is your favorite? Okay, now, this is going to be so hard, like I said, because uh, I'm still new to learning about a lot of the world trucks, so uh, I'm not going to weigh in on the favorite one. You guys can weigh in if you would like. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys think. Uh, I respect both. I really still love American trucking. I think some of the trucks are so cool, and uh, the style of it is interesting and familiar to me. And then, of course, the European trucking is very, very interesting. I'm I'm hooked, especially on the pictured like Scania's here. I think some of the Euro trucks are very awesome. They sound amazing. I love the different specs, the different engines, the different looks. And uh, there's just so much more for me to learn to, to really accurately weigh in on the whole culture. I definitely respect it, for sure. And I'm very, very fascinated with it. Uh, at the end of the day, that's just it. They're both different. I think a good conclusion to draw from this is they're different because of necessity. American trucks work in america and <laughs> european trucks work in europe now the funny part is there's a lot of countries that share both of these rather than have one or the other so if you are from a country that kind of sees scania's and big freight liners and peterbilts you know tell me about it how do you feel and how do they fit into where you are especially like australia you guys kind of have both what's your view on trucking and the different styles and how it works into countries that kind of do have both and then finally, of course, for any Americans watching, uh, what do you think of the Euro trucks? What are some of your favorites uh, that we don't have here that you kind of like, ooh, those are really cool? And same for you. If you're watching from Europe and uh, there's a certain American-style truck that you really like, I would love to hear about it. This is a long time coming on here, and there's so much more to learn, so stay tuned for that. Really love these videos, guys. Check the description for this original one, and otherwise you can interact with me. Throw a like on there if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to be part of this amazing community. My name is Ian. You watch the Night of Rocker. Until next time, y'all, I'll catch you later.